Shelf Feeds Pet Tales. Hello everyone, you're watching Top Shelf Feeds Pet Tales. I'm Kelly Robinson coming to you today from Nanaimo SPCA's cat room where I met Simone. She seems like a great cat. It says that she came in as a stray and she'd be best suited for a home that has no other pets because she wants all your love for herself. And remember, when you do adopt a pet, it's for life, even when there's challenges. Like this next dog that we met, he had some behavior challenges that were so bad his first owners gave up on him. Otis hasn't always played this way with other dogs. In fact, when Lindsay first met him, he was about to be euthanized for his behavior issues. I'm very much against euthanasia, and my boyfriend also, and so we decided to take Otis in. He was actually fine with us to start off with. We weren't having any issues with him, around people, around dogs. He was actually quite a lovable dog. And then one day when he was being walked, he was attacked by a very large dog. And from that day forward, he changed. He became fearful, he would look around corners, he would lunge, he would bark, he just would go on the offensive whenever anyone or any dog came near him. Lindsay took Otis to two different dog trainers without any success, but she refused to give up on him. No dog is hopeless. I reached out to Rebecca and sort of explained to her what, you know, Otis's issues were. He came home, he lived with me, uh, followed me around all the time. I got to see some of the things that I, I was told he does, um, but for the most part I just treated him A, like a dog, and then I also told him that yeah, the behavior, the bad behavior will not be tolerated, um, and also if you, if you behave, you know, you get great things, you get freedom, I exhausted him every single day, my dog loves him. Um, they, he just had a lot of work, you know, I put him in a lot of situations that I, in the beginning he was very uncomfortable with, and um, I think that really helped because he knew that I was there, I was going to protect him. You know, and he didn't have to protect himself. Aggression is not a personality. It is a symptom of something. After living with Rebecca for a month, Otis was ready to return home with Lindsay. He was almost a different dog. He was behaved. He wasn't having issues around people. You know, it was just, you know, Becca has a very large dog that lives in her home and, and trains with him, and he was fantastic. And I was just so surprised and shocked to see how different he really was. One of the tools used in Otis's rehabilitation is an e-collar that he continues to wear. There's a lot of negative association with the e-collar, and that's basically from people with an uneducated opinion. It's from people who have seen others use the e-collar in the wrong way. It has two options, the kind that I use. One is a vibration, it's a non-stimulation pager option. I want everyone to know that when we hit the nick, if you hear me say nick or zap call or whatever it is, I want people to understand that when we are doing that, the dog is not jumping 10 feet in the air screaming and lighting on fire. Back in the day, these tools were, were used pretty badly and I got to see a lot of that and there was a temporary period of time where I actually myself was against e-collars. When I started using them properly, it, it's just amazing. The e-collar has saved many dogs' lives and I want people to understand that you must seek a professional for it. You cannot just go out and buy one, slap it on the dog, zap the dog for doing the wrong thing and expect the dog to not understand what that means. I want everyone to know who does watch this video that the e-collar truly has saved Otis's life. She gave me some guidelines, some rules and some structures to work on with him just so that I understood that going back, you know, my dog was not cured. He was going to be a work in progress for the rest of mine and his relationship. Well, lucky for Otis, he landed in the right owner's hands. And hopefully the same thing will happen for Gibson here. He only has three legs. That's a result of being hit by a car when he was just a kitten. And although he's doing great, probably best suited for an indoor only cat because he can't move very fast to get away if anyone's chasing him. We recently caught up with the Nanaimo Kennel Club's big annual dog show where there was almost 400 dogs competing for titles. They've come from all over British Columbia, some from Alberta, some from Washington State. It's a great place to bring kids because they get to see not only a variety of dogs, but good dogs. They are sound dogs that are here. There's um, a, every breed under the sun and they are showing because they are good in their breed. The dogs are judged on their breed standards. Each dog has a described standard which the Canadian Kennel Club publishes. The judges look for form and function and movement. What we're doing here is seeing the best of today's best. We've got the best winners from all of seven groups and they are going to compete for best in show. I was showing 12 dogs today. Um, but our big winner was the Irish Water Spaniel, Odin, and he lives in uh, Victoria. 
Well, I think I found the sweetest cat at the shelter. If you have a pet-related event coming up or a pet that belongs on TV, we want to hear from you. I'm Kelly Robinson. Thanks for tuning in to Top Shelf Feeds Pet Tales.